Hello, my convicts and convict cats. Just a decide that convict bringing you guys and gals another kind of experimental video, I'd call this one. So today we're going to break a myth or myth busting in regards to download and upload speed and how much download and upload speed you might need to play games. As you all know, back in the day, the good old day of AOL with the 56k modem. <clears throat> I don't know that era. One there. <clears throat> but yeah, AOL. Back in the era, 56k modems, we could play games on the internet. So a lot of people, because obviously as years have evolved, have had this misconception that you need to have really, really good download and upload speed or fast download and upload speed to play games. I kind of felt that same way myself. Felt like, you know, maybe it's evolved. Maybe you need more download and upload speed. Maybe they've changed stuff, you know, revolution. You, more revolutionized kind of tech that they might need more bandwidth in order to play games. But it, you know, it's been something in the back in my mind for a long time. That I've always wondered and considered. And today we're going to try it out. We're going to check it. So what I've been doing over the weekend is doing a lot of play testing. And one thing I actually found out is this. If I bring up my NetDuma here, you can see I've first of all, Got no download and sh upload share access turned on. What this will mean is that it will share the access of any bandwidth left over with all other devices. I've turned it off, so it won't do that. There's only two devices I use here. For those who are quite new, if you don't know, I have two separate internet connections. I've got my landline, and then I've got a mobile 4G, um, 4G little mobile device. It's a uh, router called the TP-Link. It's the MR600, and there's a socket at the back that fits a 4G mobile SIM, and that's what runs all the mobile phones and tablets and everything else in the house that would, you know, disrupt interconnection, internet connections. I can't even speak this morning. It is half past seven this morning, and Rio's still in bed. Lazy bum. He's usually up by now. But yeah, it's a. A thing that I do in order to keep the two internet connections free. So if I'm downloading, uh, it's downloading. So if I'm streaming or recording videos, I can do it using this and not have any interruption in my connection by no phones updating, notifications coming through, WhatsApps, Facebooks, whatever. It all goes on a separate router. So today we're going to try some out. Um, what I would not recommend, obviously, is for you to do this if you're using just the one modem, per se, in the way I'm doing it right now. This is just a demonstration of how much megabits per second you actually physically need to play a game than anything else. So as you can see, I've changed two here, and they're both at 0 0.4 megabits per second. And I've had to, obviously, my upload's a bit higher than my download, but I've matched them so that they're identical. So the, the identical speed of 0 0.4 megabits per second for both download and upload. I'll put this as always. Uh, like I said, I've turned off the ability to share any excess. So it can't get any of the internet from anywhere else. And what we're going to do today, we're going to test it out and see if we can actually get into a game. And if it's actually playable. Is it actually playable? Because that could be... A game changer if you know you can run games on 0 0.4 megabits per second like for me it might be a big game changer mm -hmm. because i might start doing that more often now because when i'm streaming i normally allocate about one to upload speed to my my computer to play games if i can do it on 0 0.4 megabits per second that's a game changer so it, it's actually opened my eyes a little bit to what has happened and how this has affected everything, so it's kind of crazy. So what we're going to do is move this over here, and we're going to start this game. As you can see, we're here in Call of Duty. It does take a little bit to get into games if you've on 0 0.4 megabits per second, so I'll probably load into the main screen like this because it's got to load your profile. It's got to search for your profile and load up the store and everything. It will take a little bit of time to get to this point if you put your thing on 0.4. So get into the main game here, and then we can crack on. So let's try it. Can we actually physically, on 0 0.4 megabits per second, get into a actual game? Let's find out, shall we?
So go down here to Rebirth. Let's do quads. And let's see how the connection is. Now, my connection, my internet speed, when I'm playing games, my ping, as such, is between 40 and 50. I sometimes can get about 39, depending um, on certain servers. Now, ping itself isn't related to how fast your download and upload speed is. It's the distance from you to the server is what makes a difference. And I'm on the FTTC connection, which is part fiber, part old um, VDSL cable, ADSL mobile telephone system, which I have about five kilometers of that, which is old copper line. And then obviously fiber optic on the other side, which is why it's an FTTC, because it's part fiber, part copper. Unfortunately, I'm quite far from my exchange as well, which doesn't help. And that's why my ping generally is around what it is because I can't get it any lower because that's as low as it possibly goes unless I go and physically buy fiber optic and even then fiber optic might not change my ping that much because I'm still going to be a fair distance from my provider but as you can see I'm not getting no lag issues and this is 0 0.4 megabits per second well no issues I'm getting a little bit of packet burst, but I generally get that anyway. But, it, look, as you can see, no disruption. My shots are registering. Absolutely fine. We'll shoot this guy here, look, when, when he stops running away. No problem. And I'm on 47 ping. If I was on 0 0.4 megabits per second and it was affecting my ping, I should be on like well of 100. Because my general ping is 43 or just above. And there you go. And just to show you once again, I'm on 0 0.4. With my Jeff Filter. There you go, there's the server. Alright, let's see how well we can do. So this is just going to be brief. I'm just going to do this until I die. Or until um, we all die. There's no gun here, that's not good. Okay, we've got one gun. There's the thing here. Ooh, not bad gun. Snapshot, I'll take it. Okay. We've got two teammates over there. But as you can see, I'm not getting no lag, no issues, no problems. I'm moving around absolutely fine. Just gonna throw this money back down here. Ping teammates, tell them it's here. We've got people coming. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, that scared me then. I thought that was a bad guy coming in. And there we go. And I had no problems shooting that guy. Okay. I will be mindful. Time to cover your tracks. There's an enemy team hunting for you. Ooh, the hunting. Not me. That's all right. Okay, come here. Right, gonna move over here with the teammates. Okay, there's a gas mask here. I don't know why I'm going for that one, I don't need it.
Are we good over here? Ooh. Enemy precision airstrike. Stay alert. Okay. Thank you, sure. What do you want? What we do? We're doing spins. Enemy soldier nearby. No more money. Target. I don't know what my teammate's doing. He's just doing the spinner rooney. We've been watching too much Booker Team. Yep, I did I did one you. Sending frag. You have maneuvered the enemy dragons. Clever sneaks. Ooh. Allied UAV overhead. Cut them down. Tracking mover. Allied cluster. Enemy precision air Oh. Get to the new safe zone. Gas is closing in. Oh, I got money. I thought I had money. Ooh. I love that ammunition box. And this as well. Receiving intel there we go. The in the Use the comms tower. Enemy UAV active. Enemy dropping into the AO. Yeah, a bit, bro. I'll cover you from the top road. Are we good? I'm a team player. But there you go, 2.4 megabits per second. No issues. Where was he getting shot from? I'm guessing he was getting shot from down low. It looked like he was getting shot from above. That was so weird. Okay, okay. Enemy UAV active. I've got a guy close. Enemy UAV active. Hostile spotted. Reinforcements are on the way. I don't want to get hit by the helicopter. Oh, damn it, he's down, but I, I need to finish him. There was a guy here. One of your allies is ah, okay. Got more plates. There's a guy here. Got him. I got him, coach. There you come. Enemy UAV active. Enemy enemy UAV active. Are we good? 
Okay, good. Anyone need this? Oh. Well, good. What's our plan here? Okay, I'm going to go help purple. So this is just an example, 0 0.4 megabits per second and no lag or anything. I've just woken him this morning so I will apologize for my badness. Nope, nobody here. But I can't really stop because I keep picking up these. So I don't have restock on, but I seem to keep getting snapshots. Unless it's because I keep picking them off the bodies of people, I don't know. I didn't know it was waving. Right there. We're going to leave it there anyway. Because I'm not going to go. I don't want to do a full game. I just wanted to demonstrate. And I did say once I die. Unless it was like right at the beginning. I would end it there. But there we go. 0 0.4 megabits per second. I just wanted to demonstrate to you. That 0 0.4 megabits per second. You can actually play games. And it doesn't lag. No problems. Like I said. The, in regards to... The ping. Ping does not make a bit of difference when you are on 0 0.4 megabits per second because you would have thought if I was on 0 0.4 megabits per second I would have an incredibly high ping because if you watch any of my previous games you'll see I am generally around about 40 to 50 ping because of obviously distance from me to the server. I can bring servers closer but even if I went here such as like on a ping heat map and show you on here and go to Waza. You can see I generally get quite higher pings. As you can see, my minimum is 30, and then it goes up to 36. And I, like I said, I get normally between this area here. I don't generally get the 30 ones, I generally get like 40 to 50 ping around about here, maybe 36 sometimes, which is not bad, which you can see is that area there that I was actually located at, which was here. So I was on this server that was here. So there you go. There you have it. And that's the lowest I can get is 30. That's the lowest my ping will physically go to. Now, I'd say the best, like the ultimate best ping is 20. You're getting 20 ping or less, you'll have such a easy connection, such a smooth connection. I'd love to try 20 ping for connection. Um, but there we go. Anyway, hopefully enjoyed. If you enjoyed this and you find it informative, please drop a like, hit that notification bell. And yes, you can be one of my convicts for boys or convicts for ladies. Appreciate you. And it is Adicap Convicts handing out as always. I salute you, my convicts and comic heads. Hopefully I have busted a myth for you. And if you are paying extremely a lot of money for gaming and you are a solo person in your household and you're paying like stupid prices, don't. You don't have to. Why pay extortionate prices when literally games run at 0 0.4 megabits per second? The only time it would become 
more apparent is obviously downloading games and stuff like that. Or if you're like me and you do content creation and downloads and then obviously upload does then, however, make a difference. But there you go. I've just proven it. 0.4 megabits per second. And you can play games just like that. Right. Thank you very much. And yeah, bye for now.